Welcome to episode 3 of Nitro On The Go. In this week's show, we check out a futuristic concept car, the world's most powerful production sedan, and an Italian superbike. Let's get spooled! Third time's a charm, so welcome to what we hope is the most charming show to date. This is Natural On The Go, episode 3. And as always, thank you for spending your time with me. It's now time for our weekly segment of Nitro Boost, where we check out some of the hottest news to hit the press. But before we get there, a peek at the top 10 monster moments in motorsports. Dropped it and the thing just took off. It went viral. We're the first Americans to ever win the hardest off race in the world. Axel Hodges' first gold medal prize wins the First on the list of this week's Nitro Boost, and with multiple variants all charging up from the deepest rungs of hell, is the all-new Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye. Aside from having a really long <laughs> name, this beast from hell is the most powerful variant among the entire range of chargers, namely the SXT, the GT, the RT, the Scat Pack, the Scat Pack Wide Body, and the SRT Hellcat Wide Body. <sighs> that was a mouthful. I'm not going to spend the next few minutes going through all the variants with you today. For that, please check out Nitro.com. This week, we're zooming in specifically to the craziest version. This new SRT Hellcat Red Eye is the world's most powerful production sedan, pushing a mind-boggling 797 horsepower. Throw the rear seats out, shave off a few kilograms, and you'll technically get an 800 horsepower monster. And to help it slide sideways like this, 903 newton meters of torque, which is more than you need to properly shred and destroy tires. Helping a 6.2 liter Hemi V8 achieve those insane numbers, a 2.7 liter supercharger, the largest factory supply of any production car. Quarter mile drag, 10.6 seconds. Top speed, 326 kilometers per hour. Now let me put things in perspective. The recently refreshed and updated Mercedes E63 AMG S punches out 612 horsepower, which is more than enough, but still 185 horsepower less than a Dodge. And in the markets where both these cars are available, the Dodge is significantly more affordable. However, if I had to choose one of the two, and assuming money isn't an issue, which it forever is, I would definitely choose the Merc over the Dodge. Reasons are simple. Firstly, the modern concept of automobiles as we know it was invented by Carl Benz, a German, yes, but also the very same Benz in Mercedes Benz. Secondly, the level of technological innovations, safety features, comfort, refinement, and overall build quality in a Mercedes is beyond doubt significantly better than a Dodge. All that said, the good people at Dodge have been building cars for over 120 years. So sure, somewhere along that timeline, they may have lost their way. But with this latest SRT Hellcat Red Eye, we can be sure to see more exciting machines roll off their assembly line in the years to come. Right, shifting gears now from muscle car to electric. Like most of you, I'm not a fan of pure electric cars. Maybe not yet. Thankfully though, it seems like the push by Audi to electrify the future is making good progress. Having seen the Audi Q4 in the metal during its unveiling at last year's 2019 Geneva Motor Show, I was indeed momentarily excited. And just last week, Audi hosted an online world premiere of their latest concept car. Meet the Audi Q4 Sportback e-tron concept a fully electric SUV that's equipped with an 82 kilowatt hour battery pack, as well as two electric motors, one on each axle. So what does an 82 kilowatt hour battery pack mean? Let me try to break that down for you. And hopefully I get my math right. Imagine you have a 42 inch LED TV at home. It runs at approximately 80 watts. You therefore use about 0.8 kilowatt hour worth of energy which means 
The battery pack in the Q4 Sportback concept is able to power up your TV for well over a thousand hours or for about two years if you're watching it 10 hours a week. So that's pretty cool as it sort of hints toward an efficient electric motor system, which by the way produces 225 kilowatts worth of power. Trying to do the math? I'll do it for you. 225 kilowatt equates to about 301 horsepower. Not too shabby. Now Audi claims that this Q4 is capable of traveling 450 kilometers on a single charge. And with its quick charge system, fuel up from zero to 80% in just 30 minutes. Just enough time for a quickie. Performance wise, it could speed up to 100 kilometers per hour from a standstill in 6.3 seconds with a top speed of 180 kilometers per hour. Now, before we move on to our next and final feature in this week's show, I just want to put this out there for you guys to think about. After all, they do say a picture is worth a thousand words. So here are 2000 words worth. Now, Audi has done a brilliant job with innovation. That much goes without saying. However, that frontal view of this Q4 concept just reminds me too much of a Hyundai. I mean, the resemblance is uncanny. Long lost twins, maybe? Anyway, this concept car is slated for production in 2021. So it won't be long till we get to see what the actual version will look like. Now I'm a self-declared car lover through and through. It doesn't matter if you put me behind the wheel of a supercar, a people mover MPV, an SUV, a truck, a van. Likewise for riding, be it a small scooter or a large cruiser. To me, every ride, regardless the distance, is an occasion. On that thread, sharing that same passion with probably one of the best known sports bike manufacturers in the world, Ducati. If every ride is an occasion, then the same could be said for anything new that happens over in Borgo Panigale, home to Ducati. Because about a week back, they unveiled a new color scheme or livery for the Panigale V2. And yes, there isn't anything new about the bike which was first unveiled sometime in October last year. It is still equipped with the same 955cc Super Quadro twin cylinder engine, pushing out a maximum of 155 horsepower at 10,750 RPM, with a wheelie ready 104 newton meters of torque. The only thing new is the star white silk color, its main color. Now, according to Ducati, the predominance of white enhances the design of the Panigale V2, highlighting the lines and the purity of the geometrical shapes. Sounds like a whole bunch of marketing talk thrown at us by the marketing team, which isn't far from the truth. That said, it is after all a Ducati, loved by fans and haters alike. Now that's an occasion. Well, that's it for this week's segment of Nitro Boost. On to our next segment, Show Off with Nitro, where we take a look at some of your coolest rides posted onto Facebook and Instagram with our Nitro hashtag. Enjoy. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass. Took so many years, I've been swaying for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, euro. Peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Me, everything is on me, gon' back it up. Matter what? Told you I'ma do me. Why you hating on me? It's not adding up. I do roll like a Mack truck. Country heart, I'm a cop a farm and go act up. Lot of scars, I was cold hearted, now I'm backed up. Keep it real, I do this once a month. I don't rap much. I just take the money and go stack up. Only buying car heart, car car, take it tatted up. All that other bull, it don't matter much. You only climb me, I put the ladders up. No fault. I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, euro. Peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, euro. Peso, peso. Add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up. Told if it's all me. 
everything is on me, gon' back it up. Add it up, add it up, bankroll, bankroll, euro, peso, peso, add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me, oh you matter what? Add it up, add it up, bankroll, bankroll, euro, peso, peso, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me, oh you matter what? Add it up, told it if it's all me, everything is on me, gon' back it up. You hating on me, it's not adding up. Add it up. Told it if it's all me, everything is on me, gon' back it up. Matter what, told you I'ma do me. Why you hating on me? It's not adding up. So that's a wrap for this week's edition of Nitro on the Go, your weekly must-watch show for all your latest updates. Remember to share this video on Facebook with our Nitro on the Go hashtag and stand a chance to win our weekly swag bag giveaways. We've got a special interview feature in next week's Conversations with Nitro, so stay tuned for that. Once again, thank you for spending your time with me. Hong here from Nitro.com, signing out.